soldiers peering out to sea on their way to war in one of the final works of their captain, who died days after painting it on the beaches of Normandy. Julian Corey Wright, a talented artist from Brancaster in Norfolk, was just 27 when he was killed by a shell during the D-Day landings. But his story was captured on his canvas, and now it's being told in an exhibition put together after 20 years of research by his daughter, Juliet Webster. She was just a toddler when her father left for war. I think I used to find that difficult, but now I, I feel I know, I, I really have got to know him really very well. And I, I want to introduce other people to him because he was obviously a great man. The exhibition's called Wartime Watercolours and it opens in Norwich Cathedral's hostry tomorrow, running until November the 21st. It spans years of work, from Corey Wright's paintings as a young boy to landscapes of his picturesque home life in Brancaster and the hundreds of sketches of his military training. They are very um, spontaneous and they, they capture everyday happenings. It's wonderful reportage of, of ordinary military life. As well as all the art, the exhibition's informed by dozens of letters sent by Corey Wright to his relatives. In them, he describes his work and travels and even his battle to get 72 hours leave from the army in order to get married. Well, he was obviously uh, a lovely person. He was much loved by people, very talented, uh, always busy. Um, I don't, get, don't think he ever had a dull moment because he, there was his sketchbook in his, in his pocket. Juliet says compiling the exhibition has been a labour of love, a way to celebrate the Norfolk artist who went to war and for her to get to know her father through his sketchbook. Rob Setchell, Mustard TV, Norwich.